What are the biggest threats facing sea turtles? Well, there are a lot of threats right now, but the two biggest ones are sea turtles are being caught in fishing gear, and so they're being, you know, killed and harmed through that, and then degradation to habitat. Building, dredging of sand, you're losing. And garbage too, right? I mean, one plastic bottle or a piece of plastic, piece if, of plastic if it's ingested. All it takes is one piece of plastic can kill a sea turtle. Yeah. And so right now, Oceana is working to protect sea turtles in the water. We're working to protect key habitat areas. We're trying to get a comprehensive legislation enacted that would protect them both in the water and on land and raising the awareness to protect sea turtles. Okay. What makes you interested in sea turtles? Um, I mean, if you've ever um, swam with them or gone snorkeling, they're the most you know, amazing kind of majestic creatures. It's, it's kind of crazy to me to think that they're endangered. I'm hoping to raise awareness uh, because I think most people think about going to the beach and they just go for a swim and that's it, but they don't know what's really happening and that I think if more people know, they can actually take action to prevent it. Why did you decide to partner with Oceana? I grew up in Northern California going to the beach all the time as a kid and when I was a kid for a while I thought I wanted to be um, a marine biologist so I, it's, it's a natural fit too. What was your first impression when you saw sea turtles in the wild? It was pretty amazing. We saw the little uh, baby leatherbacks being hatched. When they finally do hatch out of the eggs and, and they do this long you know, walk to the ocean, it's just incredible. And I hope that just to get the word out and to make people aware and hopefully be able to help enact some kind of legislation to keep fishing to a minimum and, and just put, put laws in place that will help protect the sea turtles.